Today's topic is how should a doctor examine the skin? The skin is the largest organ in the body and is sensitive to a variety of conditions. Doctors recommend getting skin checked once a year as skin conditions are the first sign of trouble for many serious medical problems. The ability to accurately identify and classify a range of skin signs and symptoms remains necessary in examining the skin. The doctor will need to look for and identify skin color and pigmentation. If skin lesions are present, they are examined in reference to their morphology, anatomic distribution, and configuration. Color and Pigmentation Pigmentation is the coloring of the skin. Before any inspection is carried out, it is important that the doctor note the color of the skin. Red spots result from many different inflammatory diseases and may indicate an underlying skin condition such as eczema or allergies. Orange skin results from a benign condition of carotene deposition after a high ingestion of beta-carotene. Yellow skin results from jaundice. Violet skin may result from vasculitis or cutaneous hemorrhage. Grayish or blue skin, also called pallor, result from a lack of oxygenated blood to the area that is discolored. Morphology. The doctor is required to assess the form and structure of the lesion. Is it flat, raised above the skin, or depressed below the skin? Primary lesions. Are damages in the skin caused directly by the disease process? Macule is a flat, non-palpable area of altered skin, usually less than 1.5 centimeters in diameter. Patch is a flat, non-palpable area of altered skin, usually greater than 1.5 centimeters in diameter. Papule is a raised, palpable lesion with distinct borders less than 0.5 centimeters in diameter. Nodule is a raised, palpable lesion that may extend into the dermis, epidermis, and subcutaneous tissue, usually greater than 0.5 centimeters in diameter. Plaque is a flat, palpable lesion that is raised or depressed with either a well-defined or poorly defined border, usually greater than 1 centimeter in diameter. Vesicle or blister are small raised lesions filled with clear fluid, usually less than 0.5 centimeters in diameter. Bulla are small raised lesions filled with clear fluid, usually greater than 0.5 centimeters in diameter. Wheel are raised odomatous papule or plaques caused by dermal edema. A postule is a raised lesion that contains pus, usually less than 0.5 centimeters in diameter. Papilloma are benign wart-like lumps on the skin. Telangiectasia are dilated blood vessels visible on the skin surface. Petechiae, a tiny circular lesion on the skin surface caused by a minor bleed from broken capillary blood vessels. Purpura are purpled colored lesions on the skin due to hemorrhage from small blood vessels. Echemosis, a discoloration of the skin caused by a blood leak from a broken capillary into surrounding tissues under the skin. Burrow, are linear lesions that are produced by the infestation of the skin and formation of tunnels. Secondary lesions, are an evolution of primary lesions or occur as a result of external forces such as trauma or infection. Scale, are visible fragments of stratum corneum as it detaches from the skin. Crust, rough surface made up of dried serum, blood, or pus. Excoriation is traumatized skin caused by scratching or rubbing. Lichenification is thickening of the epidermis seen with exaggeration of normal skin due to chronic rubbing or scratching of an area. Fissure is a sharply defined linear tear of skin in the epidermis due to dryness. Erosion is slightly depressed areas of skin with partial or total loss of the epidermis. Ulcer is a defect in the skin with loss of epidermis and some part of the dermis. Scar are areas of fibrosis that change and replace normal skin after an injury. Atrophy is thinning or the absence of the epidermis. Stria are commonly known as stretch marks. Distribution. Distribution describes how the lesion is spread out on the body. This is helpful when examining skin lesions as they often have characteristic locations. Symmetric, affecting both the right and left sides of the same region. Asymmetric, affecting one side and not the other. Extensor, 
affecting extensor surfaces such as elbows, knees. Flexoral, involving skin flexures. Localized, limited to some part of the body. Generalized, widely distributed over the body with no exception of any major area of the skin. Photo distribution, affecting areas that receive the most exposure to the sun. Configuration. Configuration refers to the shape and outline of the skin lesions. The arrangement of multiple lesions or shape of an individual lesion can help during an examination of the skin. Linear lesions take the shape of a straight line. Annular lesions are rings with central clearing. Reticulated lesions have a lacy or networked pattern. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.